Some arcane sorcery transported me away. This was the ancient ruin of a vampire civilization. Perhaps here I would finally decipher the riddle of my destiny. Throughout these ruins, I found murals depicting the seminal events of vampire history. These scenes commemorated a great war between the ancient vampires and their rivals. In triumph, they banish their adversaries from the world and raise the pillars as the lock that binds them. The image of the reaver was inscribed throughout this place, always depicted with reverence. The vampire's holy weapon was destined to be borne by their prophesied hero, for whom it was forged. But if this was my destiny, why had the reaver tried to consume me? This scene depicted the appointment of the original vampire guardians, each summoned to serve when the pillars were raised. Each guardian is aligned to the principle of the pillar he serves, and the balance guardian is the axis of them all.
At last it was done. The Reaver was forged with darkness. As I felt this new power coursing within the Wraith Blade, I knew that now the Light Temple would open to me.
Against all odds, I had stumbled into Cain's own mausoleum. This seemed an unlikely coincidence.
again I experienced an odd sense of displacement as I was transported to the vampire ruin once more. But this chamber was different than the first. In their defeat, the vampire's enemy retaliated with a terrible curse, afflicting the vampires with a bloodthirst that turned their once noble race into ravenous predators. This curse plunged the vampires into despair and apparently drove many to madness and self-annihilation. What was it that so devastated them that they were driven to suicide? I had succeeded. The Reaver was forged with the power of light, and now my way was clear. I would seek out Ariel at the Pillars, and see if she could enlighten me.
at the cemetery. I only needed to find the gate that would send me on my way. gate, sealed by the powers of light and darkness, barred the way to the pillars beyond. To depart this place and continue my journey, I would have to find the means to open it. At last, the gate yielded to the powers of light and darkness, with which the reaver had been forged. The way to the pillars was open.